Uh, the first symptom that I had of sleep apnea was the one of falling asleep behind the wheel of the car. At the time, I did not realize it was one of the conditions of sleep apnea. I just thought that I was exhausted from working long hours and from not sleeping sufficiently. Well, by noon, I need to take a nap. That was that's the worst that, that it was. Uh, I remember some, some day that, uh, w one day, that uh, I need to stop. I went to the park, I went uh, right on Flagler and uh, 100, 100 Avenue. And uh, I parked in that park and I fell to sleep. And a lady knocked, a lady knocked my door, my, you know, the window, and he, she asked me if I was feeling good. And I was totally knocked out. That, 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 that's the, as bad, and it was the condition that I had. When you stop at a stoplight and you have like a big dream and you wake up, that's the scariest thing you can feel, you know, and you were gone. Yes, when I experienced that stroke at age 67 and I was in the hospital recovering, my son actually had them hook me up to a machine. And that's when I fully realized for the first time that I did have sleep apnea because my breathing was so interrupted and it was to the point where I just slept for an hour, I would be up because my breathing was not what it should be. There's not enough awareness of, of sleep apnea, which could be detected a lot earlier. I think the effect of sleep apnea, generally speaking, or, or the, the effect of undiagnosed sleep apnea on society is actually much greater than what we, what we envision, what we know. My memory, I would be talking to someone and I, that feeling when you've got that word at the tip of your tongue, but you just can't say it, started happening more often. And I think one of the, the greater horrors is, is uh, one time just having an interview with a client and I found myself waking up, my, I heard my voice slur and thinking, what was I saying? I would wake up uh, tired, kind of confused, uh, but I didn't know that. It's only in comparison to the way I wake up now and the way I feel now when I wake up that I know it was the case. As it was happening, I was not aware of it. Memory, uh, memory issues where you don't really remember, all of a sudden you don't really remember what happened to you like five minutes ago. You have like, I know I want to do something and all of a sudden you just have a complete blank. You don't remember what you were thinking three seconds before. I used to have this more and more, I don't have it anymore. The hardest part of you know, having sleep apnea is probably that you don't sleep before you know you have sleep apnea.